Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews and welcome to my audiobook report on The Blade Itself by Joe Abercrombie and it's read by Stephen Pacey. I think I got his name right. It's weird that I get Abercrombie but I'm not sure about Pacey. Anyway, okay, The Blade Itself is part of a trilogy and I think it's the first, it's called the First Law Trilogy? Anyway, uh, The Blade Itself is book one, and then book two is Before They Were Are Hanged, and book three is The Last Argument of Kings. I'll include links to all these in the description if you want to check them out. And it's a, it's a fantasy novel, and I really liked it. And it's one of those things, like, it's sort of, it's sort of weird. I'm not a fan of, like, I guess you'd call it grimdark fantasy where everyone's just bad. But the book has a lot of characters that aren't so good. I think the difference is maybe the characters are better developed. And also, it seems like Joe Abercrombie has a bit more humor. It's not It's not a comedy book. It's not like what you consider a comedy novel by any stretch of the imagination. But it has some funny parts in it. And I'm just... Okay. I've enjoyed all of his books. He has he has his first trilogy. Then he also has a series of books that are just set in the first law world. It's, it's uh, Best Served Cold, The Heroes, and Red Country. And then he has a series of short stories that's called Sharp Ends. I'll link all these in the description below. And he just started a new series that the first book is called A Little Hatred. And that one picks up, it's like maybe 20 years after the last books. Anyway, it picks up sometime after the last books. But, and I've enjoyed all of them. I like the characters, but the characters aren't really good people. Like, some examples. the Arguably the main character, or one of the main characters, the mainest character? That doesn't sound right. One of the main characters is Logan Ninefingers. And he is a barbarian from the north. And he is an amazingly likable character except he has kind of a flaw. He's sort of one of those berserker barbarians, and it's like, he's just not good to be around. But And he's, I mean, it's one of those things like, I like the character a lot, but he's not really a good person. And he tries... I'm like, there's various points where he's obviously trying to be a good person, but he's not super successful a lot of times. And he's, his character is, you know, you'd, you'd label him a barbarian, like from the Dungeons and Dragons D&D fantasy standpoint. And he's very much like a berserker barbarian in that at the point where the bloodlust kicks in, he kind of just murders everything. And it's not like it's not good to be around him if you're on his side or not on his side when the whole blood rage thing kicks in. And another one of the characters is Inquisitor Glockdor. I'm maybe mispronouncing that. Glockdor. Anyway, he's a, an Inquisitor. Like he tortures people, and he actually does torture people in the book. And it's. He's not a good guy either, but the thing is, it's like, I've been trying to figure out what it is, and I think part of it is, the book involves a lot of violence, and the book involves, like the later books, there's like a war, there are multiple wars actually, and I don't think, I don't think you ever get the impression that war is glorious from the books. You pretty much get the impression that war sucks for everybody. And, like, the people who have gone away to war and come back, 
they've been, I mean, like they're obviously traumatized by the war and it, it has an impact. And I think maybe that's one of the things that, that kind of distinguish these books from the more just grim, oppressive, like grim, dark fantasy where everyone's a bad guy. Because everyone is kind of bad, but they're not, they're complicated. They're more involved than just being like an evil person that murders puppies. You know, they're like, there's, there's levels to it. They aren't just all puppy murderers. They're some, I mean, like they're, they may have at some point murdered a puppy, but they've also done other things that were not bad. And it's just, they're, they're, it's kind of neat. And the future books, like the later books, I like how, I like how the forces in his world end up controlling and manipulating, like, political events and that kind of thing. It ends up being really interesting. He had a, another series of books, and I think... It's like, they're like half a king, half a world, half a war. Uh, I'll include links in the description for them, too. And they're not bad, but, and, and so, I mean, like, the, here's, the, here's the issue. It's like, I listened to, I listened to The Blade itself, and Before They Were Hanged, and The Last Argument for Kings, and then I went back and I listened to his books, Half a King, Half the World, and Half a War, and... The the, the, the the half a whatever books are the Shattered Sea series. And the Shattered Sea series aren't bad. I think they're just not as good as the first law stuff. So if you're looking for something to listen to, I would say start with the first law books and see what you think. And if you like his style, listen to all of them. And listen to Sharp Ends as well, because I enjoyed the short stories. And they kind of they kind of add an interesting little twist to some of the things some of the events you've 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 encountered earlier. And after that, if you're looking for if you need another Joe Abercrombie fi fix, then go with the Half a King, Half the World, Half a War, that series. Because they're not bad. I mean, they're just it's one of those things like they're good, they're just not as exceptional as the, the first law stuff. I guess that's kind of... I don't know. It's one of those things like... It's it's bad when... If I'd hit the Shattered Sea series and then I'd listen to the first law stuff, I would have been... It would have been one of those things like... I've been like, the Shattered Sea was good, and then this is really good. And so it wouldn't have been... But going from the first law to the Shattered Sea, it's a little bit of a letdown because they're not quite as good. But anyway... If you have any suggestions or if you have any opinions or ideas for things that I should listen to, any good re book recommendations, let me know in the comments. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I hope you all have an excellent day.